So this is the alpine butterfly. Uh, in this instance, we're using it to isolate a damaged section of rope. Um, so you'll see that uh, both sides of it here. Okay. So let's show you how to do that. So I've got my damaged section of rope. Uh, first thing I want to do is kind of isolate that and put a twist in that rope. Okay, with my bite. So it's the same as any other knot. You've got your kind of P shape here to start. Okay, and then I want to twist it again the same way. It's important that you twist it the same way and not back the other way. I'll show you what that looks like after. Okay, now you've got kind of a infinity symbol here. I'm gonna grab that top, top part of that around and through with the bite. Okay, and when you pull it tight, Pull your strands, your long strands, not the bite, and you'll get that three-directional knot that you're going for with your isolated section here. There's both sides of it. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like when you do it the wrong way. Just untie it there. So if I isolate my damaged section, twist, and then I twist back instead of twisting it to complete the twist. You'll see that those are not captured there. And when I finish this knot, you'll see that that top strand actually falls off the bite. Okay, so that's incorrect. I'll show you one more time what it looks like. Okay, I'll grab my bite. Give it a twist. Twist the same way. And now that middle bite here, come around and through. Okay, pull my two strands tight. I've got enough loop here that the damage section won't get sucked back into the knot. And there's both sides parallel on one side, twisted on the other.